this project I've got a nice winter scene uh, sky filtering through winter trees. It's a village scene and I'm going to show you some brush strokes, um, some scraffito and uh, I'm mixing up an off-white now for the sky. It's uh, titanium white, lemon yellow with, with a little bit of Naples yellow. I've got water in one of my dippers and I've got a, a fast drying medium in the other and I'm sort of mixing those two together. We're going to be blocking in areas of sky in a slightly different way um, leaving gaps to show the trees. I've already produced uh, a sketch on my canvas in grey. I've already painted this in and I'm working on a coloured ground which is basically a burnt sienna just rubbed over the the canvas with a piece of lint free cloth and I'm painting the holes if you like around the trees. The important thing with oils is not to plaster the paint on very thick early on because A you lose control and B you've got poor adhesion um, for subsequent layers so the, the trick is to paint fairly thin to start with and then thick in the later stages. Once this area is blocked in and I've got some of these areas of tree blocked in I can work over it I can actually use um, a round, a small round brush, a size two or three, and paint in the trees, paint actually in the gaps. So painting wet in wet can be a bit difficult to get detail, but if you leave gaps, especially through winter trees, I quite like the idea of painting the sky between the branches. It, it gives it a nice, it's a nice kind of soft focus effect. There's a range of mediums that we can use with artisan, make sure that you use a proprietary medium for the paint you're using. If you're not using artisan, and I like it because there's no smell attached to it, indoors you can work, we're working in a studio, it's quite a small studio, it um, only takes about six people, it's not big, and if everyone in here was using traditional oils, the smell after a while of terps would be overpowering, really. pleased with that I'm going to um, now look at some subdued greens for the areas around the bottom of the trees. What I'm trying to do is to get the green subdued enough to, to appear behind some of these trees as if it's distant foliage and some distant trees. We don't want a dark green because that will come too far towards the viewer. For distance it's always a good idea to put in pale blue into, into a mix and keep it fairly pale. Coming along nicely that, I'm, I'm now going to mix uh, some burnt sienna into my, my uh, uh, green that I've just been using and um, blocking in some dark areas. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush now and uh, we'll just swill the paint out of it and we'll do some scraffito. Nice thing about oils, you don't have to clean your brushes thoroughly each time because they, they're not going to harden off for several days. Working in this area, the, 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 the exercise is basically drawing into wet paint to show whatever the colour is underneath. And with a bit of planning, you can actually put the colour in, in advance, with either an acrylic or some oil, and let it dry. 